Today, let's walk through some tips and tricks for working with fleece. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content and today's video is all about working with fleece. So fleece is a really interesting material. It is fantastic for cold weather projects such as hats or blankets. As you can see, fleece has a right and wrong side. It also has quite a bit of stretch to it. So when you're working with fleece, it is very soft. Normally it will have some sort of smooth side and then maybe a bumpier side. So as you can see from this, it has a good amount of stretch both ways. Sometimes though, it will be stretchier in one way versus another so you really just have to figure out what type of stretch your fleece has now fleece has that right and wrong side so for example you can see here that it is curving in on each other that is one way you could sort of figure out the right or wrong side so if it is the wrong side that curled edge will kind of curl in but it really depends on the type of fleece that you are using so today i am going to be making some fleece hats i thought this would be a great way to talk about fleece fabric while i make these hats so fleece is interesting to the idea that you don't actually need to finish off the edges. So as I am cutting out my hats, I can use fabric shears and they work really well. I can also use a rotary cutter and we'll get a little bit more into that later. But the really nice part about fleece is that it doesn't fray on the edges. So when you're cutting this out, you know, you really don't have to worry about how you're going to finish off your edges with your fabric. You can use a serger. You can use different ways to finish them off if you want them to look really nice, but it's not something that you necessarily have to worry about. So as you can see, I have my fleece here and one item that I did forget to mention at the beginning was you definitely want to be sure to wash your fabric, of course, whenever you're using this at the beginning. But we now have to determine what that right and wrong side is. So I talked about this a little bit before that, you know, you can see how that fabric is curling in on itself when you stretch it. Sometimes it's really easy to determine. So if like that Mickey Mouse fabric, whichever way the wording was correct, that was the right side. And then for this fabric though, it's bumpy on both sides. So both sides look like the right and wrong side. So I'm just figuring out which way it stretches and then I'm going to be using that as a guide for the right and wrong side of my material. It looks pretty similar on either edge. So I'm not too worried about having the right and wrong side since they're both green. In addition, I have cut this out so that the direction of the most stretch is going to be horizontal so that it would fit over your head better. So now when it comes to actually sewing the fleece, fleece, because it is that stretchy material, you're really not gonna wanna use a straight stitch. You're gonna wanna use a zigzag stitch, a lightning stitch, depending on what type of features are available on your sewing machine, as this will allow your fabric to still have that stretch and the thread to not snap if you like try to stretch it. So the straight stitch is not going to provide any sort of stretching ability. Now for the needle, I'm actually just using a regular needle for this. If you have any difficulty though, you could definitely try a ballpoint needle as that is specifically for knit and stretchy materials. Or if you're using very, very thick fleece, you could definitely try a much stronger needle such as one that would be used for like denim or just a bigger needle so that you are able to get through all those material. But again, for these hats, I was able to use a universal needle with no problem. That's really just going to depend more on how you are working with your sewing machine and what works best for your fabric. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna start taking some stitches. This is what that lightning stitch looks like on my fleece. It looks really nice and it does provide me a good amount of stretch. So now, as I mentioned earlier, when we were cutting out the fleece, you can also use a rotary cutter. And I find a rotary cutter works really well with fleece too. You are gonna wanna make sure that you have a very sharp rotary cutter though, or else it will be kind of difficult to cut through all of that fabric. So when you're working with fleece, there is sometimes you have to layer two pieces of that fabric together and you wanna figure out what the best way is to make sure that they stick. So should you use pins, should you use quilting clips? And really either will work in this case. For me, I found that quilting clips were a little easier to work with with the fleece as it really helped it to hold in place, but that's really much more of a personal preference as pins will work just as well. So you could use either when you are sewing with fleece. Now, in addition, you can also use a serger. So a serger is going to allow you to have that stretchable ability with your fleece. It's also going to finish off the edges if you just want to give it a really, really clean and neat look. And then you can see here, I'm taking advantage of fleece, not having to worry about those fraying raw edges by adding that pom-pom on the top. And then all you have to do is roll up the bottom of the hat to give it a cute little brim. And this is why just like a fleece hat is absolutely perfect for winter and is a really great and easy pattern to do. So for this, what I really like about the fleece is that 
I'm able to really cut as many strips as I need and not have to worry about it fraying, not having to worry about it coming undone. And since fleece is a machine washable fabric, you would actually just be able to throw this whole hat into your washing machine dryer and it'd be very, very easy and simple to clean. Now this was a pattern that I found online and I'll include a video if you wanted to see where this pattern came from. And I found it really easy to work with. My only thing was that when I was doing the brim at the bottom, it wasn't staying too well. So I did go ahead and sew just a little tack on either side to hold the brim in place. So as you can see at the bottom, I did also go through and serge that edge just to give it a really nice and simple and clean look. But that's definitely not something that you would have to do. So I actually made all of these hats to donate to a women's and children's shelter, which I'm really excited about. You can see that the fleece was just an absolutely perfect use for that. And here's what they all look like. So as I had mentioned, I did tack up some of the bottom portions of the rims just to help them hold in place. The fleece is very forgiving though, and it's very difficult to see where that happened, which is another great use for fleece. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next.